Thanks, Senator. Angela Corcoran. I'm Assistant um, uh, Secretary, um, Indonesia Program Delivery and Timor-Leste Branch. Would you mind repeating the question, please? Uh, what aid projects are currently funded by the Australian government in the West Papuan province? Thanks, Senator. Um, at the moment, we're providing a range of aid programs. In 2012 and 13, we spent approximately $22 million on aid programs in the Papuan provinces. Some of those um, are delivered specifically to those provinces, and some of those are programs that um, have elements in Papuan provinces and elements in the rest of Indonesia. Um, so just to take you through the, the um, details of those, if you like, um, through the Clinton Health Access Initiative, CHI, we're addressing the rates of high rates of, P of um, HIV in the Papuan provinces. The program is providing um, HIV testing services and treats more than 20,000 people living with HIV. Um, and the program's running through 2012-13 to 2015-16. In the education sector, um, we've provided 225 uh, scholarships to um, applicants from West Papua for postgraduate study in, in Australia since 1999. We're working with UNICEF over 2010 to 2013 and with local governments to improve primary education in six, six districts, um, improving planning and literacy and numeracy teaching in schools. Um, in disaster risk reduction, we're also partnering with the Australian Red Cross and Oxfam, helping district governments in those provinces and local Red Cross branches and communities prepare for natural disasters. And um, we're supporting the Indonesian government's program for community empowerment in the Papuan <coughs> provinces, which provides small grants to communities to build vital infrastructure in the provinces. Um, and through our um, Australia-Indonesia Partnership for Rural Development, um, which is AIPD Rural, we're also um, helping to um, increase the incomes of poor farmers, including in Papua and West Papua provinces. Thank you. Uh, could you take on notice and provide the committee with what current health and education statistics are available for the West Papuan province? Sure, I can take that on notice, Senator. Um, does DFAT fund any human rights NGOs in West Papua? And which ones are they, if you do? Um, I'm not aware of that, Senator, so I'll have to take that on notice as well. Thank you. Um, moving on to uh, Timor Leste. Uh, I believe it's currently Australia is involved in two legal cases with Timor Leste. Uh, what impact have these legal cases uh, had on Australia's relations with Timor Leste? Uh, well, Senator, um, um, we have um, sought to handle these two cases within the context of a bilateral relationship which uh, remains a strong relationship. Um, clearly, because we're in court, we have a very different uh, set of positions on the, uh, on the issues. Um, and uh, we will have to see where uh, those two cases uh, end up. But uh, it, is a, it is a factor in the bilateral relationship, uh, clearly, uh, clearly the case, but um, it doesn't mean that we don't continue to have a very strong and close relationship with, with East Timor. Uh, has has Timor-Leste expressed any frustration um, with the current or previous government's uh, proceedings in the international courts? Well, they're, you know, we're engaged in litigation with them. I mean, um, so uh, they may well express frustration um, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of any, of any direct representations to us that reflect frustration, but it would come with the territory. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2011, um, I believe the Timor-Leste Timor government rejected um, the Chinese government's request to build a base uh, in Timor-Leste. Um, did that concern the department? The, the fact that they Possibly rejected... Were concerned about the Chinese look, are requesting to build a base in East Timor? Well, um, ultimately, questions of uh, East Timor's foreign and security policy are matters for East Timor. Um, and uh, our uh, position on all of these issues is, 
uh, the importance of any initiatives, proposals, uh, to be entirely transparent. So, um, you know, we, we don't uh, make a decision for Timor-Leste about uh, their dealings with other countries. That's a matter for, for them and the other country. Timor-Leste has uh, received assistance from China over the years. The uh, presidential palace was built for them by uh, China, as was the uh, foreign ministry. And, uh, I think the normal development of relations between Timor-Leste and China, <clears throat> as with uh, relations between China and the rest of the region generally, uh, is something that uh, is as a matter for Timor, as the Secretary says, but, uh, but generally welcome building positive relations with uh, foreign states. So it doesn't con the Department's not concerned that China looked, was looking to build a base there? Well, I, think, I mean... It's, it, it, I don't think it was a, a proposal that really um, got into a lot of detail mm. um, and uh, to the extent that it didn't get anywhere and it didn't have any detail to begin with, um, I don't think it was something which we would necessarily have had to give, and give a, a lot of uh, policy attention to. Uh, previously our relationship with um, Indonesia was based on the... Uh, the Barwick Theory, uh, the Lombok Treaty, the J. Scott um, findings. Uh, what's the guiding principle now for the department with our relationship with Indonesia? Well, the, uh, the Lombok Treaty is, uh, is still a very important element, at least in terms of the uh, formal uh, relationship between Australia and Indonesia, but the uh, overall uh, framework within which we operate is that the relationship with Indonesia is uh, one of our most important relationships, that it has uh, an uh, important economic trade and investment dimension, a very important geopolitical and security dimension, uh, a expanding people-to-people -people dimension. Uh, Indonesia is a uh, 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 an important partner of us in regional institutions and works with us multilaterally. So um, it's a relationship in many dimensions, uh, all of which are, uh, are very important and um, underpinned by uh, the fact that we're, we're neighbours, uh, that we both seek to have a comprehensive strategic uh, partnership uh, and that we're both uh, democracies. Uh, do you believe that um, human rights issues on the ground in West Papua have improved in the past 12 months? Well, I think the trend uh, with human rights in Papua over uh, an extended period of time has clearly been positive. I mean, if you compare the human rights situation in the Papuan provinces today with what they were 10 years ago, uh, there is a, a marked improvement. Um, they continue to be uh, human rights concerns, and in our dialogue with Indonesia, uh, we uh, address those issues and encourage them to, uh, to, to address them. And uh, I think uh, uh, under President uh, uh, Yudhiono, uh, the official approach to Papua has uh, uh, shown a, um, a very high degree of commitment uh, to ensuring the development of uh, the province uh, and also to improving uh, the human rights situation. Uh, are you able to enlighten the committee as to um, access to West Papua for uh, the media and or human rights watch organisations? Well, we have, uh, and Mr. Cox may want to add to this, uh, we have um, raised this with, uh, with Indonesia. Uh, we have encouraged them to uh, provide greater access to, uh, to the media. Um, I think they have taken some steps uh, to do that. Uh, in fact, I think uh, very recently a, um, uh, a um, SBS journalist uh, has uh, uh, made a visit to the Papuan provinces, but Mr. Cox may have more details. Well, certainly, I mean, we, 
Beyond Journalists, our own ambassador was most recently there in November last year, and we have teams of officials from the embassy visiting regularly. And as the secretary says, I think the last groups, we had groups in February, we had groups of officials going in March. Um, as the secretary says, I think Mark Davis of um, SBS Dateline was there recently as well, as was seen on television last night. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think there still are uh, restrictions on access of journalists. It's not easy to get access, but uh, we continue to advocate for uh, larger, wider access and uh, for more transparency about uh, the situation in, in the provinces. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank